It's the first day of school and BPS students are excited and eager to get back into the classroom, but not every parent or grandparent shares that same enthusiasm. BPS students no longer need to wear a mask inside the classroom or on the school bus, and that's concerning for some parents dropping off their kids on their first day back. Nervous, um, especially with the no mask. So yeah, I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm happy to have them back. Oh, well, I told him to wear his mask no matter what. So <laughs> and hand sanitizer and yeah, and wash his hands every time he gets a chance. <laughs> it's something that kind of concerns me a lot, especially because I do have a health condition, which is uh, a disorder in my immune system and. Even a cold can be really bad for me. The organization called BPS Families for COVID Safety is calling for a stronger COVID mitigation plan and the return of face masks for the first 10 days of school. More than 40% of Boston children ages 5 to 11 still need their first COVID vaccine, as do 85% of their siblings. There are also large racial, ethnic, and income disparities in booster rates for their caregivers. So it's not only about us and our families, it's about the entire community. A letter with COVID concerns and suggestions was sent to BPS, the Public Health Commission, and the Mayor's Office. In Roxbury, James Rojas, WBZ, Boston's News Radio.